tetanus, disease caused by bacteria known as Clostridium tetani. A toxin produced by the bacteria affects the function of the nerves and leads to severe muscle spasms in the abdomen, neck, stomach, and extremities. Tetanus can either be localized to one part of the body, or generalized, with muscle spasms throughout the body. The disease has been called Lockjaw since the muscle spasms in the face and neck can lead to the inability to open the mouth, and this is one of the most common symptoms of tetanus. The bacteria that cause tetanus can be found in soil, manure, or dust. Tetanus Symptoms Tetanus often begins with mild spasms in the jaw muscles. The spasms can also affect the chest, neck, back, and abdominal muscles. Back muscle spasms often cause arching, called epistotinus. Sometimes the spasms affect muscles that help with breathing, which can lead to breathing problems. Prolonged muscular action causes sudden, powerful, and painful contractions of muscle groups. This is called tetany. These episodes can cause fractures and muscle tears. Other symptoms include drooling, excessive sweating, fever, hand or foot spasms, irritability, swallowing difficulty, uncontrolled urination or defecation. Tetanus affects skeletal muscle, a type of striated muscle used in voluntary movement. The other type of striated muscle, cardiac or heart muscle, cannot be tetanized because of its intrinsic electrical properties. Tetanus Treatment Tetanus immune globulin, TIG, is recommended for treatment of tetanus. TIG can only help remove unbound tetanus toxin, but it cannot affect toxin bound to nerve endings. Surgical therapy includes debridement of wounds to remove organisms and to create an aerobic environment. The current recommendation is to excise at least 2 cm of normal viable appearing tissue around the wound margins, incise and drain abscesses. Delay any wound manipulation until several hours after administration of antitoxin due to risk of releasing tetanus plasma into the bloodstream. Tetanus is a common disease, yet every individual needs unique treatment and care. We encourage people with tetanus and their families to learn as much as possible about the latest medical treatment and approaches as well as healthy lifestyle choices. For more information about tetanus and how to treat tetanus, just click on the link at description or visit www.mainmd.com. Thank you.